So you have the original AMS system by Bamboo. But is it feeling overworked? Unusual feeding patterns? Midnight error codes? Clickety clackety sounds of a jam? Well, let's give it a spot day. We'll exfoliate those rollers, dehydrate those wrinkles, unkink those tubes, and get her feeling like new again. Let's get into it. All right, welcome to episode one of the AMS Spa Day series, where we give your film system the attention, respect, and deep tissue maintenance it deserves. Today, we're cracking open the original Bamboo AMS and giving it a full checkup. If you've never been inside one of these before, don't worry, it looks intimidating, but it's really just a fancy box full of rollers, sensors, and the occasional personality crisis. First thing we're doing is removing the top cover. This gives us access to the essential user serviceable areas the rollers, the filament path, and the components Bamboo is okay with us touching. Remember, stay within what they define as safe. If you start going deeper than this, Bamboo's warranty team will sense a disturbance in the force. Once this tray comes off, you can finally see what's been quietly feeding your prints behind the scenes. These rollers, they're the unsung heroes, or the villains, depending on how your last multicolored print went. This area loves to collect debris, dust, filament shavings, and whatever emotional baggage your printer decides to share with you. Everything we're doing here is what Bamboo considers safe. Cleaning, wiping, inspecting, basic disassembly of the top cover, totally fine. But if you start removing sensors, opening motor housings, or swapping electronics, congratulations, you played yourself straight into the warranty gone. Take a quick glance at the PTFD tubes here. These little guys are the AMS highways. If they get jammed, nothing's getting delivered on time. Now it's time for the AMS's deep hydration cleanse, or rather, dehydration cleanse. Replacing it regularly ensures your spool stays stable and moisture free which directly improves layer adhesion and print reliability. We're giving these rollers a quick inspection, checking for any filament dust and checking tension points. A little TLC here prevents a lot of jams later. If this area isn't happy, your whole print farm isn't happy, trust me. A lot of AMS failures come from simple neglect, dust on rollers, worn or split tubes, dirty sensors, and using the wrong materials. And yes, running the wrong filaments, wet materials, or cardboard spools through here can absolutely void your warranty and your sanity. A quick shot of air through the filament halls to clear any dust or debris. And hey, if you got any tips or ideas to level up our AMS spa days, drop them in the comments. And now, it's time for the AMS deep tissue treatment. Replacing those warm PTFA tubes with brand new silky pathways. This tube reached enlightenment, and then it split. Out with the old tube energy, and in with a refreshed, perfectly round, zero friction vibes. Think of this as giving your AMS new circulation, smooth, effortless, and oh so relaxing for every filament it feeds. Now, if you run abrasive filaments, things like PLA glow, carbon fiber blends, wood fill, and even some sparkle or stone fill materials, those can really stress out these PTFE tubes. Think of it like giving your AMS a daily exfoliating scrub, eventually something's gonna wear out. Standard material users can do this maintenance every few months, but abrasive filament users, Treat it like an oil change. Do it way more often to keep everything running smooth. If you have any epic PTFE tube failure stories, drop them in the comments. I can't be the only one. If this relaxing spa day saves you some headache, hit that like button. It's free AMS karma. Your AMS will thank you later. And if you're enjoying this spa day series, hit that subscribe so you don't miss out on the next treatment. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen our AMS heater upgrade video yet, check it out. It pairs perfectly with the Spa Day Maintenance Series. Now it's time for the AMS Moisture Detox, swapping in fresh, crisp desiccant so your filament can breathe easy again. Moisture is one of the biggest print killers. It causes popping, stringing, puffiness, and inconsistent lines. It keeps them stable and ready to print. And now we're giving the gear rollers their exfoliation treatment. A gentle cleanse to remove all that built up filament dust. These rollers work all day shuttling filament around, so spa day is their chance to unwind and get the gunk scrubbed off. Think of this as a deep clean foot massage for the AMS. Clean rollers mean smooth, stress-free filament movement. Every spa day needs a little cleansing ritual, and for the AMS, this is it. Fresh rollers, happy loading. All the rollers are responsible for reading your filament accurately. Any slippage here can cause errors, grinding, and mid-print unloads. 
A quick brush or wipe keeps the sensors happy, the motors happy, and your prints consistent. Clean rollers mean cleaning filament data, fewer jams, fewer errors, and more reliable loading. As we reinstall the rollers, make sure everything seats firmly. No wobble, no misalignment. Clean rollers only work as well as a clean placement. These gears should slide back and smoothly. If they don't, don't force it. Double check alignment and let the pieces guide themselves. Once everything clicks back together, give it a gentle manual spin to confirm smooth motion. No grinding, no resistance. Reassembly is quick, but important. Clean rollers only help if they're properly seated and rotating freely. If you've ever run into roller issues, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your AMS horror stories and fixes. Now that everything's refreshed and realigned, we'll slide the tray back into place, like tucking the AMS in after its full spa treatment. Reconnect your cables, and this tray drops in with a nice, competent fit. No forcing, just a gentle return to its happy home. And now we'll secure the tray with the original screws. Snug, not tight, just enough to keep everything stable. As you tighten these screws, don't overdo it. The light hand keeps the plastic stress-free and the alignment perfect. Once the screws are in, give the tray a gentle wiggle to confirm it's seated correctly. All right, that's how we do our monthly general maintenance on our AMS Gen 1. If you have any suggestions on how we can improve our maintenance flow, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. And if you want to check out our cool upgrade for this Generation 1, check out our video here for the AMS heater. Until next time, be glorious.